If you're watching a HostGator review in 2026, you're probably trying to figure out whether it's still a solid hosting option, or if it's just another brand that stuck around longer than its quality did. HostGator has been around for a long time, which can either mean reliability or stagnation, depending on how the company has evolved. The reality is that HostGator is still relevant in 2026, but it comes with clear trade-offs. Whether it's right for you depends heavily on what you expect from hosting and how technical you want to get. One reason HostGator continues to attract new users is accessibility. HostGator for beginners is still a valid selling point. The setup process is simple, the interface is familiar, and you don't need advanced knowledge to get a site online. For someone launching their first website, that low barrier to entry matters. When people ask, is HostGator good? They're usually asking about reliability. In terms of uptime and basic performance, HostGator does what it promises. For blogs, personal sites, small business pages, and early stage projects, performance is generally stable. You're not getting cutting edge speed, but you're also not dealing with constant downtime. HostGator pricing is another area that deserves clarity. Like many hosting providers, HostGator offers attractive introductory rates that make it easy to get started. Where people get caught off guard is at renewal when prices increase. This isn't unique to HostGator, but it's something beginners should understand up front so expectations are realistic. Support is a mixed experience depending on the situation. For basic issues, HostGator's support is usually responsive and helpful. For more advanced problems, answers can feel slower or less precise. For beginners, though, having accessible support for common issues is still a net positive. Looking at HostGator pros and cons helps frame things more clearly. On the pro side, HostGator is easy to use, widely documented, and beginner-friendly. On the con side, performance doesn't scale as well as some newer hosts, and advanced users may find the environment limiting as their site grows. This is where many honest HostGator reviews diverge. People who outgrow the platform tend to be more critical, while beginners often have a smoother experience. That doesn't make either perspective wrong, it is. It just highlights that HostGator works best as a starting point, not necessarily a long-term solution for every project. Another thing to consider is how hosting fits into your bigger plan. Hosting isn't a permanent decision. Many successful websites start on accessible platforms like HostGator and move later when their needs change. Starting with something simple can help you build momentum instead of getting stuck in research mode. In 2026, HostGator hasn't reinvented itself, but it also hasn't collapsed. It still offers a predictable, beginner-friendly hosting experience for people who want to get a site live without complexity. That alone keeps it relevant for a certain type of user. Where HostGator may not be the best fit is for users who want maximum speed, modern infrastructure, or advanced developer tools from day one. If performance optimization and scalability are your top priorities, there are hosts that specialize more heavily in those areas. So is HostGator still worth it in 2026? For beginners who want something familiar, accessible, and easy to set up, the answer can be yes. As long as you understand its limits and don't expect it to be everything at once, HostGator can still serve its purpose. If you want to check out HostGator yourself or see current pricing, you can click the link in the pinned comment or the link in the description. That way you can explore it directly and decide based on your own experience. At the end of the day, HostGator is best viewed as a starting point. If that matches where you are right now, it can still be a reasonable choice in 2026.